YouTubers, and some of you may want to have their own customized duck. Well, I will show you how to do it. First, you're going to Finder. You're going to Hard Drive. Then you're going to System, Library, Core Services. Now you are looking for Doc, Deplication Doc. Well, here, and you're going to right click and then show packet. The show packet component contents. Well, when you're going to re contents, resources, you'll find all different things like the dashboard client. Well, you, for example, at the dashboard, when you press Alt, then you find uh, close buttons you can change that very easy you open up Photoshop now Photoshop will start up And when you're going to make a new file, you are going to make a button of 12, uh, wait, no, um, uh, nine, 29 by 29. Well, now you got a little box. Now you've got to double click on the background. Now there says layer no, uh, zero. You just can type something. Well, okay. Now uh, the background is on layer, so you can delete it, but it's the only layer there is, so you can delete it right now. When you zoom in, when you zoom in, You'll, uh, it gets big, bigger, of course. Uh, then you can make a round. And you can uh, do something like a filling. And a color uh, blue. Now you're going to make a little circle. Now uh, you see very much pixels, but when you zoom out, to 100 presents actually all the pixels are gone well now there are little white stripes on it so you're going to crop precisely on the round oh Well, it's not that good, but okay. Now you're going to delete your uh, layer make background. Well, now I see those blocks on the background. That that means it is, yeah, uh, uh, backgroundless. Uh, when you zoom in again, you can make something like. Uh, yeah, an X. Um, maybe you can do it by the custom shape tool. Shape. Um, no, but I like this one. Wait, that's flower. Well, okay. Oh, uh, you're going to choose a color. Well, I just pick white. Then you're making something in it. Well, now you did that. You're done. You're going to save it. Oh, cancel. 
you're going to save it as uh, save you're going to save it as a PNG or it is PNG and you're going to name it close box uh, just to the desktop okay now you're going to drag it to the resources folder uh, you got to type in your password and replace what now it isn't actually replaced wait I will delete the close box button now I'm going to drag it in Yeah, now it's working. Oh, maybe it's a little too little, but okay. Um, in an earlier video, you will see how to restart a dog, but uh, I will show it again. Script editor. Uh, if you want to restart the dock, you also just can uh, log, out, log out and log in again, but yeah, I do it right this, this is way easier. I'm going to type in tell application duck. The dashboard runs on duck, so it has to be duck. Quit. When you quit it, it will restart again. And tell you're going to save it as an application on the desktop whatever you want restart doc all right now I made an application you open it you can open the doc for a minute a few seconds actually well when it opens up again you know it's restarted so when you open up the dashboard and you want to delete something you will get your homemade thing and it just works correctly but when you delete it this happens and I understand you don't want that so you're going to copy this and you're going to paste it and now you're going to name it close box press okay and now you're going to delete Close box press that the one that uh, already exists. You delete it, and you're going to drag it in the resources folder. Well, now you're done. Now I'm going to restart the dock again. Again, you can open the dock for a few seconds. Let's open up F12. Now it just is the same it's it's still the same when you click it well that was this video i hope you will enjoy it actually you don't need uh photoshop for this but it is as handy